Alright, what's good guys? Today's trade was an L. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have traded this. A few things I did learn from that you guys might be able to use that I can definitely have used next time is don't trade when the high time frame and the small time frame bias isn't matching. Like, they should both be matching up bullish or bearish. Um, we want good price action. We want ranging price action. We don't want price to be chopping and shit. Um, we also had clearly respected fair value gaps if you guys have watched the full video or at least watch the analysis but you can see that we get a lot of fair value gaps that like don't really match up a lot of 15 minute five minute fair value gaps going both ways inverse inverse reverse all this bullshit that doesn't really make sense um we could have had a market model we didn't have a market model today we should at least look for retracement to accumulation power of three or liquidity sweep uh i should have also followed my full strategy Waiting for a 5 minute break, 5 minute fair value gap, 1 minute break, 1 minute fair value gap. On this trade I entered before we got a 1 minute break. And if we waited for a 1 minute break, 1 minute fair value gap. And for a price to respect that fair value gap, we probably would have not even taken this trade. So we could have avoided this loss. Uh, we should have been patient and disciplined for the best entry possible. And I was watching 4 pairs, so I should only watch my 2 pairs that I trade. But yeah, anyways, enjoy the video. Um, peace. I saw what I'm looking for today. There's no news. <clears throat> On the four hour. Here's what I want to see. I either want to see it close inside here. This four hour value gap. Or I want to see it wick. This four hour value gap. So either close in this range or in here. Um, and it will create a big four hour bearish fair value gap. On the one hour, I want to see it sweep this low uh, as like just a draw. And yeah, obviously, we got this whole area which is accumulation. And you could say that this, this range is the EQ, so we'll see how this. This candle plays out. But yeah, fill this stuff, put some orders on the accumulation. I'd want at least a 15 minute break to the upside. And then some confluence with the four hour and the one hour candles. Um, yeah, and we'll be looking to take a trend extension to the upside. I wouldn't look to short unless it was like from here further down. But yeah, I'll be looking for a trend extension on GJ. On Euro JPY, we're holding this four hour bearish fair value gap. We're coming down, we filled this four hour, filled these small four hours. Also creating another four hour right there. We've got a big one hour right here. Say that this is the draw. And yeah, we got a few, f if it holds this one hour fair value gap, then that would be some bullish confluence. Um, maybe this whole thing is like an order block. But yeah. If I was shorting, I would want to see it come into like these one hour fair value gaps or these 15 minute fair value gaps. We'll take out like this high. Then continue lower. But if it holds this one hour for value gap, <clears throat> I'd be looking for a long. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure on your rejection, guy. No idea. You can say that it's like a little area, like a mini accumulation. <clears throat> but let me count on it. Yeah, it's either sell side or buy side. I think I'm gonna target sell side. I just don't really know what model I'm I'm gonna get to get a trade. But like on a high time frame, we are bullish as pretty pretty bullish. Who knows if this is just like a lower high that it's created a lower low, so yeah, 
high time frame, it's not really lining up for me. I want to see if it, realistically, I'd want to see it sweep sell side for a long. But yeah, I'm not too sure. <clears throat> GJ is taking up the liquidity inside the 4 alpha value gap, inside previous accumulation. I, 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 want, I want to look for a long. GU price is chopping, but if it breaks out of this range, be keen to trade it. Um, we've got four alpha value gaps here. The trend is bullish. Yeah, like the shit's mega bullish. The next draw would be like here on the four hour. We just broke structure of the upside right here. So we have a four hour fair value gap below it, and we're inside of a four hour fair value gap. <clears throat> we might even break structure to the downside on one of the next ones. Um, holding a one hour. So, yeah, I either want to see it manipulate somewhere and then take a power of free trade. Sort of similar on EU. What is that draw, bro? Okay, we've hit that daily draw. So could we see a reversal? So let's draw the four hour. We took out the draw and then we shot like shot all the way back down. Shot all the way down, broke structure here, broke structure here. Now we're inside of this fair value gap. Sort of got disrespected there. We did break structure back to the upside, holding this four hour bullish. The draw is either here or like here. I think I'm close to the buy side right now, but yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to trade this. There's way more liquidity up here, so I am bullish. Plus the fact that we're holding this one hour bullish. But holding this 15 minute bullish. But yeah, I don't know how to trade this, this little range. Yeah, we'll check back in later. I uh, actually, so here's, here's what I see. We got previous weekly high right here. And then we got this big fat weekly fair value gap. So I want to see it take out the previous weekly high and then go down into that weekly fair value gap. So if we could, I'm going to be looking for longs. The confluence is that we, we got a four hour break bullish, like right here. We were bearish, like in this little rally. But the, the high time frame trend is bullish. And then we just broke structure right here, so that confirms that we are bullish. So yeah, we're holding that 4 alpha value yet. Um, 4, four slash 1 hour for value yet. And yeah, I want to see it take out this low. And then you could also say this whole area is accumulation. So that if it comes back in there, that's accumulation. Um, we're also holding this 15 minute fair value gap bullish. So, <clears throat> yeah, I either want to see it take out like this low. Or I, want, I just want to see like some sort of manipulation move inside this range. And then from there, like if, if it takes out this low and manipulates and then goes higher, that's that's a long I'd be, that's the most ideal long that we could get. On GU, we got the previous weekly highs right here. Like a tiny weekly fair value yeah, right here. Plus an inverse one. So it's like... That's pretty high confluence. Um, on the daily, <clears throat> we are just straight bullish. Um, 
did break trash out here though. In the four hour. Chop, chop, chop. Rarely. Sweep look on you right here. Take out the highs. Holding this four hour female league gap. Continue higher. We've got a, currently inside of a four hour female league gap. Yeah, and then on the one hour. What me personally I'd want to see. I'd want to see power free. Liquidity sweep, sweep the previous high, manipulate up here, and then like disrespect this fair value gap. Up. I'd want at least a one hour break to the downside, and then I'd short it. So we need at least a one HP. Um, <clears throat> on Euro, seems like we're holding this one hour fair value gap. Bit of a bearish rally. Also holding this one as well. So we're holding two times one hour for value gaps. So what does that make me believe? Does that maybe the draw will be like this fair value gap or this fair value gap? If it holds it, I definitely do think price will go up here or here. And you might be able to take a long with some more confluences. But we are like bearish at this moment in time. But yeah, <clears throat> possible reversal soon on EuroJPY. Or maybe an extension if it retraces and like takes out this high or something. Or sweeps it. If it sweeps it, that's pretty mean. On GJ. Looking like we just tapped into it. If we can close above inside here, that's pretty mean. On the one hour. Yeah, it looks like we just took out this draw. Filled some orders in accumulation, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, right now we are bearish. So. We have to look for some more stuff. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We take out these highs. And continue lower. That'd be pretty mean. But yeah. See what happens later. I on EU we've got both of these holding these fair value gaps, so who knows if we're gonna go higher. But that's pretty good confluence. Showing that we are respecting and holding these bullish fair value gaps. So um yeah, let's see how that plays out. As well as on GJ. It looks pretty decent. We might even close side of this four hour and if we do definitely be looking for longs and yeah <clears throat> all right on the four hour it looks like first things first we've tapped into previous accumulation set two things we've filled two four hour for value gaps and we've wicked it third thing we're holding a higher time frame eq um it looks like we're going to be coming up into this one hour bearish for value gaps so let's have to see how that plays out um, we had this 15 minute fair value gap bearish, and we're now like closing above it, so it's an inverse. So realistically, I would be looking for buys. It's just the fact that we have a big one hour bearish, but maybe that can be our take profits. Because we got 15 minute break. Let me, let me just write that. We got. Trend. High time frame extension. Uh, holding. Times two. Four hour fair value gap. We got. Liquidity sweep. Right here. Is that like a one hour low? Yeah, I'd say like a one hour, down an hour, yeah, one hour up. <clears throat> one hour low, we've got a 15 minute break, we've got an inverse 15 for value gap. And yeah, and we got holding high time frame EQ on 4 hour. And we also got a 
the five minute fair value gap that it's about to make right now. Am I going to trade off this? No. I'm going to wait till seven, see what happens. Maybe we'll go into straight away at seven, but I'm not going to enter straight away right now. Where would my take profits be? It would be this big one hour bearish fair value gap. Trend is bearish. STF trend is bearish. But realistically, I do think we could extend extendo clip. The only thing that's like that I wouldn't the, the, the only thing that would make me not want to trade this is if um the four hour closes outside of this fair value gap. It closes below this high time frame EQ. And yeah, but we'll have to see how it plays on into this one hour. I think you'll possibly long it and take profits along the way up the fair value gap. But yeah, that's, that's the only thing that's a bit dodgy. But if we get even more confluence, like if we play off both of these and just get like a massive rally up, I'd be pretty keen to enter. Um, on Euro JPY, sort of similar. Four hours. Four is creating a four hour fair value gap up here. Uh, on the one hour, we're holding these fair value gaps. We've got both of them. Got a big one hour fair value gap up here as well. 15 minute we're still holding this 15 yeah we're still holding that 15 bearish but we got a 15 minute break to the upside now right here so yeah we'll have to see how that, what happens we also got another five minute here value gap so we can say GU, we want to see it take out the previous weekly high and then a one hour break to the downside for a short and the EU sort of chopping as well, bro. But yeah, GJ, I'm keen to enter on GJ, bro. But yeah, the thing is, we just have this fat one hour bearish fair value gap. But I'm, I'm just thinking, like, can I just take profits like up there? So, like, take profit one. This 15 minute draw and then like take profit to like eq on this one and take profit three up there and then the monthly draw but like yeah man let's just see what happens this is the one hour break we've got a, the most recent one hour break was bearish right here but other than that we're holding a four hour we're holding two four hour fair value gaps. We've tapped into previous accumulation. 15 minute break, inverse 15 minute fair value gap. What a five minute fair value gap. Could possibly take this, bro. I've got two funded accounts now as well. I've got a $6,000 funded account and a 25K funded account. I'm not going to be doing them yet, but who knows when we'll start. When we're, when we're consistently profitable, I might start, but like, Recently, I don't want to, like, fucking brag, but, yeah, whatever, bro. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm keen to start my funded account soon. Who knows when? Uh, yeah, man. Let's see how this plays out. All right, bro. We got a 15-minute fair value gap. Bearish now, right here. You could say that, like, these highs are some sort of liquidity. So fuck knows how this is gonna play out, man. All right, <clears throat> four hour. Holding the four hour for value gaps, so we can get rid of these now, because we know that they've been tapped into. We now have a bit of very fat four hour for value gap right here. Um, I'd be keen to take a trade if we can get a few more confluences. So on the one hour, we obviously have this very big for value gap that we're inside right now. Um, we seem to have broken through the EQ, showing that we are going to be bullish. On the 15 minute, we have rallied, we've broken structure again, showing that we're going to be even more bullish. And if we can close above this 15 minute fair value gap, that could be another inverse fair value gap. What is this? Is, this, is that the 4 hour? Yeah. Okay, we can get rid of this. We don't really need this. Got in our confluences. 4 hour fair value gap right here. 
So yeah, we want to see it close above this 15 minute fair value gap. On the five minute, we still got a nice little five minute right here. Realistically, I want to see it retrace back into these fair value gaps for a long of some sort. Or possibly you could even short it if it comes up here. Taps into like this area of accumulation, takes out the straw, fills a four hour and we get break a structure to the downside. But yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Um, on Euro JPY, mm. one second. On Euro JPY, we got this is the wrong one. We got another four hour for value gap right here. Beautiful four hour for value gap right here. Um, one hour holding these one hour for value gaps. We're gonna wanna see, I don't know what we're gonna see. Another one hour right here inside the four hour. The 15 minute, we've broken past this, so now this is an inverse 15. Uh, yeah, you might be able to enter on this. Or should I have entered here? This 5 minute? So there's an inverse which was closed above, and then we made a 5 minute. And then we broke structure right here, and then we didn't really get a fair value gap. Oh, and we got a fair value gap here, which could have been your entry. Um, and then yeah, price just rallied. You would have take proper one, but what time was that? That was at six forty eight. So no entry. I might I might trade this. Let's see what we can get. So on the one hour, it's it's just a bit dodgy because we got a lot of fucking well like one hour for value yet. I'll probably wait till eight. Because we've got a lot of fair value gaps, like got a few high time frame fair value gaps to see what happens to them. If they hold it, then we might have to short, so that's why I'll just be patient and wait. Don't, don't, don't trade before 8, bro. Because you got to see how it reacts to the 1 hour. Uh, yeah, the inverse 15. That would have been a bad trade to take, but unfortunately, it's before our time frame. We've also hit this draw. So, I don't know how that's going to play in, but it's going to be bullish or bearish. Who knows, bro? One hour for value gap, 15 minute draw. We'll have to see. So, we know it's holding these. We know this four hours being held right here. The most recent one hour break was right here. Me personally, for me to take a reversal, I'd want to see it take out this high and tap into this 15 minute fair value gap. Possibly even tap into this accumulation and then go lower. Um, would I trade this 5 minute fair value gap right now? Take a long up to like this 15 minute draw. Uh, no, just because. I don't even know why I wouldn't trade this, but so we're holding those. Broke trucks on the fifteen minute. We got a five minute break as well. Five minute break bullish. Five to fifteen MD. Got a five minute fair value gap, a fifteen minute fair value gap. An inverse fifteen. Against us, we have a one hour fair value gap. And we've already had a 15 minute draw. But right now it's looking pretty bullish. Um, GJ. Yeah, this 15 minute fair value gap is looking pretty bearish right now. Against us, we got a one hour break bearish. Got this one hour fair value gap that it's holding. We still got that four hour above us. A higher time frame, bro. Higher time frame, higher power. 
Right. On a higher time frame, we are bullish. Although we did just take out these highs, which is a bit dodgy, because then I don't really have targets. Except for like a monthly draw. We are pretty bullish. I wouldn't be surprised if banks wanted to sell right now. But yeah, we definitely could take partials, I think, inside this 4 alpha value gap. High time frame, higher power. We're just in a bit of a high spot to be longing. We are holding a bearish one hour, so that's what's not 100% with us. We got like this little bit. In the 15 minute, we are holding that. Five minute. We'd preferably look for a retracement into here to see if we're still bullish. And then long it up to like there. So yeah, man. See how that plays out. See how it plays out. Like we need one hour structure. We need to see if this candle is just a fake out on the EQ. If it closes lower, it closes like lower. After one hour, after holding this one hour, then we probably won't long. But it'll be interesting. GU, I'm keen to see it come up to this previous weekly high, sweep it, and then give us a little like structure showing that it wants to go to the downside. But, but yeah, man. See what happens, bro. If it disrespects this stuff and breaks structure, that's pretty mean. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, we, we low-key got a lot going on. Um, we've taken out the highs on GU. If we can get movement to the downside, I'll be keen. On EU, we did not close above it. On this broker but on here it's just it's the same level it's not really closing above but we're also holding a one minute fair value gap now so what do we got we got i'll say like this one it's here and you got one in the one fair value gap i want to see it disrespect this this line now I'm not. I'm not gonna long, because I want to see how it play, it's playing up to the one hour. It's one hour fever again. It's still holding. Um. Yeah, man. It's about to make a fifteen minute fever gap as well. So we'll have to see how that plays out. And on GJ, we've tapped into the four hour. We got a few fifteen minute fever gaps. We've got another five minute break, possibly. How do I trade this? I don't know if I should be longing. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, okay. I'm either gonna long it if it can retrace into a fair value gap after 8 p.m. comes, or I'm gonna look for a short if it gives me some confluence that it's gonna go to the downside after it's taken out either this high. What is this? After it's taken out this high, tapped into like this area of accumulation, filled the four hour. Ideally, the most, the best trade I could take, in my opinion. Because we're pretty high up right now. The most recent breaker structure to on a one hour was bearish. So realistically, I would want to see this four hour fair value gap get filled. This high taken out and tap into this area of accumulation. And now I want to see a five to 15 minute break to the downside. And me personally, I think that would be a good short. In terms of longing, I'm going to want to see what happens to this one hour candle. Like... There's this fat imbalance, so it's it's gonna go up anyways. It looks like it might create a one hour fair value gap as well. So we're just gonna have to see that how this plays out in the fifteen minute. We've we might if we close above this on the fifteen minute, then that's pretty valid that we're gonna go higher. And yeah, man, Euro JPY. What am I looking for? Bro, I don't even know what I'm looking for. No, well, no, nah, nah, we do, we do, we do. We, do. we just want a one minute. We want, yeah, yeah we want to we want this to close above here, above this fair value gap, and then if we can break structure again, past this high, that's pretty mean. And then you can, you might be able to enter off that one minute fair value gap. Target like the bottom of the one hour fair value gap, then here, and then like further up. But what do we what do we got on Euro JPY? We are sort of bullish. This is a bullish trend. 
I would say. We just took out this draw. But I'd say we want to maybe target the rest of this fair value gap or this high. We're showing pretty... I reckon banks filled here at this low. We've got a 4-hour fair value gap that we can target. On the 1-hour, did have a big rally down. But we do have some more fair value gaps to fill. I know that's not really a confluence, but... Yeah, on the 15 minute we're bullish. We just made a 15 minute fair value gap. Um, did we close above this? We didn't. So I won't be trading this. Let's see the stuff get closed above first. GJ. GJ. 15. We're holding this 15 minute bearish. So, I mean, if it closes above it here, then fair enough. But we've got a few 15 minute fair value gaps right here. And then right here, we've got a 5 fair value gap. Bam, 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 bam. Fully holding it. If we get a 5 minute break to the downside, will I be willing to short? No, because it's just it's mixed bias. Don't really want to trade that. But yeah, I would more likely say that we are bearish. Low. High. Low. Lower high. Low, low, lower high. Continue lower, and then we got. Bro, if this matches up, that's so mean. We got EQ here, which it just did tap into. So we might be bearish. Um, we got a 15 FVLD app holding. We got EQ as well. So it's, yeah, it's mixed. confusing um i'll do a line here for eq too mixed of a bias to trade i reckon i don't really want to risk money or risk a win, a win rate off trading this what the f what did i just do gee what gotcha this one yeah Yeah, one hour, it's holding it. Hold that. One hour break. Full time from is just holding 15 feet. Yep, holding EQ. Yeah, true. In the 15 minute. We're bullish. The most recent break to the upside was bullish. So messy, man. It's so messy. I have no idea what's happening. Nah, 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 nah. We got this. We got this. Yeah, I'm not going to trade. I'll check back in later. Okay, interesting. We're now... We have now broken structure to the downside. After... Holding this 15 minute fair value gap, tapping into the 1 hour fair value gap, tapping into the 4 hour fair value gap, tapping into a small time frame EQ. We've got a little 5 minute fair value gap right here. So let's see how this plays out. On the 15 minute, we'll see if it respects it or disrespects it. But hey man, maybe we're taking shorts down to these lows. Using one <clears throat> on Euro JPY, we did also just break structure to the downside on the five minute right here. And we also got a five minute fair value gap right here. Looks like it took out that so one hour fair value gap. 15 drawn liquidity, 5 MB, 5 value gap, inverse, 5 value gap. Our most recent break to the downside was 1 hour as well. <clears throat> but yeah, we've got matched mixed biases. So, who I don't. It'll be interesting to see what happens, how this plays out, and what we can do. To trade it. 
Oh, yeah. If it enters in there, are you going to short? I don't really want to, to be honest. But... <laughs> it's just too mixed, man. It's so mixed. Uh, I'd be sort of keen on here, bro. This one's looking a lot cleaner. More, way more targets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm chewing with my mouth full. I mean, speaking with my mouth full, but this is an inverse 15 minute fit value gap. If it doesn't close below there. I mean, if it doesn't close back inside of it, otherwise it will just be a fake out. But then we have another 15 minute fit value gap here. And the five minute was showing pretty bull pretty bearish. So this plays out when it retraces into here. If it does retrace into here, am I gonna take a short off that? Realistically, I possibly could. And target these lows and down here and all that. But if we're looking at the 15 minute, if it disrespects it, yeah, cool. That's valid. We also have another 15 minutes to play with. Closes below here as well, that's that's mean. And then on the one hour, yep, it's definitely holding this bearish. This candle was a fake out as we closed above it. Now we're closing below it. Um on the four hour though, that's the only thing. The higher time frame, the daily and the four hour is the only thing against us. We're holding this stuff. We did just tap into the four hour and we're still we're bearish now, so who knows how far we go. Most likely I think we're gonna chop. But yeah, holding bullish. Now we're holding bearish. So I am bearish now. The trend is sort of lucky bearish as well. Low, 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 high, low, 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 high. Just to speak this stuff. Inverse mixed with normal normal fear value gap. We want to see it close below this low to indicate that it's, the drawer is lower and we can look for shorts. Seems like price is low key rallying now. But I would like to see a retracement into a 15 minute, into a 5 or 15 minute fear value gap. This is the high time frame, the EQ, let's see how it plays off it. Um, this. I wouldn't say that this is valid. Or this. Yeah. See how this plays out. <clears throat> UJ, I mean Euro JPY. Just close below. This 15 minute bullish. Right here. It's an inverse. And this one. Who the fuck knows? We're looking pretty bearish. I'd want to see it come into here for a thing. This. But maybe Euro JPY is a bit short. Tapped into the one hour. 15 minutes rule in the quid. We've got a one hour break. Just disrespected a 15 minute fair value gap. See, bro. I'm not willing to trade yet. Nah, nah, nah. Alright, so we've come into this 5 minute fair value gap on GJ. Let's just look at what we have. It's so fucking messy, but... Let's have a gaze. So, on the 1 hour. We've come in to this 1 hour fair value gap. Tapped into the 4 hours as well. Me personally, I can't even read this, so I don't expect you guys to read this. We've got this small time frame EQ. Possibly could be disrespecting this 15 minute for value gap. Bullish, so we're holding this high time frame EQ and this inverse 15. We retrace into this 5 minute for value gap. Am I going to enter off a 1 minute break, 1 minute for value gap? I want to see on the 1 hour. <clears throat> it closed below this, this thing, showing it's a fake out. I want to see in the 15, this bullish one turn into an inverse. And then that get played with. And I don't really like how we're holding this inverse 15 and the EQ. 
But it's all right. When we get enough confluence for either a short or a long, I'm going to enter and it'll be a dub. Just too, too multi bias right now. Alright. Aight, aight, aight. 15 minute. <laughs> okay. We're holding this 15 minute bullish. Okay. This 15 fiddly app, fake out. On the 5 minute, we just ran through this. So now this is an inverse 5 fiddly app. This one, however, is. <laughs> <laughs> it's still getting held. So, and we're playing off high time from EQ. We bounce off the high time from EQ. So, 15, fair value, yep, holding. Plus, fake out. We got high time frame EQ. And then we're holding a five minute. And we got an inverse five. So, cool. We know that's holding. Am I gonna long off this? Because we also got a five minute in here as well. So we got another five minute. <laughs> Am I gonna long off this? But holds. Okay. What's the one hour say? The one hour. It looks like it goes up and then it goes down, so it's closed below. On the 15 minute, we're still bullish. On the 5 minute, came into this inverse 15, plus the high time frame EQ. We're holding this 15, so we know that I can get rid of that. We're holding this 5 minute bearish. We've got a 15 minute fake out, we've got an inverse 5 minute. Depending how it plays off this 5 minute for value gap and this inverse 5 minute if it closes inside here. On this on this candle, if it closes inside here, I'll be keen to the long. But now we got a 1 minute break, 1 minute for value gap, so I'm really just... <laughs> don't know if I should be shorting. Holding a 5 minute, 5 minute break. One minute was closed below. Should I be shorting off these fair value gaps? I don't, I don't know. This one inverse. Cool. And we got a 15 right here. Cool. We tapped into a five minute. Cool. I'm. We can do this. We can do this. But who gives a fuck about those fears? Zero JPY. On the one hour. Tapped into the one hour for the value gap. The 15 minute, we've taken out a 15 minute draw. We've got an inverse. Okay, and we also got a 15 minute for value gap, just a normal one here. And then on the five minute, we've broke structure to the downside on the five minute. Tapped into a five minute for value gap. Broke structure on the one minute now or on a one minute for value gap. Should I be shorting right now? Right now. What do we have against us? We got a 15 minute break and where's the inverse? The inverse is here. If this gets held, then no shorts, but if it holds, I might short if. I don't. <clears throat> so we got a one hour break previously. We've tapped into this one hour figure we get. We took out this 15 minute draw. We then broke structure on the five minute right here. Then we got a five. We tapped into a five minute right here.
five minute break. Inverse to five to fifteen. We haven't tapped into that, so I won't count it. Actually, we got one here. We did tap into it. So I'll write inverse five, and then we got one minute break, one minute fair value gap. And I could literally press short right now. Probably get filled like here. Put my stop loss like here. Take profit one like. here but i don't really want to risk this because we could be holding this inverse 15 on the one hour we are bullish on a high time frame high 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 low high 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 low high 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 low so that's really that's why i'm not really really looking to short right now the higher time frame bias doesn't match with the small time frame scalping bias on GJ as well, we're bullish. This should be this should be a high low, but holding a fifteen minute bearish, disrespected a fifth. We're holding a fifteen minute bullish. Now we might close below it again, showing that we're bearish. Come up into this five minute that we're holding now. This bias don't match, bro. I don't want to trade this shit. I fucked this. This is getting too confusing. Here's how we're looking at it. We just tapped. We filled. We took out this low. And we filled. Bro. Filled two, what, four hour for value gaps. One hour liquidity. Plus times two, four hour for value gaps. Okay, and we're also holding a four hour for value gap. On the one hour, that's where, it's get, that's where it gets a bit saucy. We get a one hour break to the downside right here. We're holding a one hour for value gap. And then we got the small time frame EQE. And then on a larger time frame, we got this EQ, which is currently rejecting. So, let's write the confluence. Four hour fair value gaps, one hour liquidity. We got a 15 minute break right here. Blum. Right, and we're also holding a 15 minute fair value gap. Bearish. But then we're also holding another 15 minute fair value gap. Bullish. Um, on the five minute, we're holding a five minute fair value get bearish, but if we start pulling through bullish, that, that could be decent confluence for a long. Okay, yes, sir. Closed. The, lowest, the most recent one was there, but we'll see if this closes bullish. And then if we can close below these fair value gaps. I mean, close above. Realistically, I don't really want to trade GJ. I don't really want a long GJ until it closes above all of these. Um, but then at the same time, bro, my... Sh okay, whatever. <clears throat> and then on the five minute... We're holding a five minute fair value gap. So our most recent break was here in the five minute five minute break, five minute fair value gap was here. And on the one minute bullish. The one the one minute's bullish. So 
In terms of longing, we have four hour confluence and 15 minute break in fair value gap. And then bearish, we have one hour slash four hour confluence, 15 minute fair value gap and five minute. And then one minute goes to this to, to the long bias. I don't really want to trade this until I see this break structure of the five minute and these get closed above. And I don't really want to short this until like, bro, Are we, we're still inside of this inverse 15. Was it, is it bullish or inverse? No, we're still holding a 15 times two. This, this could also be a 15 minute break as well. So see how that plays out. Euro JPY, thank God I didn't enter because otherwise I would have fucking lost. This goes to show, bro, you don't, you shouldn't be trading multi-bias shit. The four hour, we've got a big four hour for value gap above it. But not much four hour confluences, I wouldn't, the one hour, we got a one hour break right here. And we tapped into this one hour for value gap right here. And then, wait. We took out this 15 minute draw right here. I like the, uh, the bias on Euro JPY is like looking better. And then, and now we're paying into this inverse 15 minute fair value gap right here. We also got a normal 15 minute for value gap right there. We did break structure on the five minute as well. Bro, shorts on Euro JPY could low key go hard. If we can get more confluence going to the downside. But yeah, we got one HP, one hour for value gap. 15 draw liquidity inverse 15 fair value gap we got a normal 15 fair value we got a five minute fair value gap see right here we got a five minute break um well but now we got a five minute break to the upside so no more five minute break but if we get a one minute break to the downside, I could be keen. One minute break, one minute fair value gap. What's the EQ saying? Bro, I low key wish I didn't use EQ. Well, this probably doesn't, but. Yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling. Maybe once internally sweep once more, but who the fuck knows? What do we have bullish? What do we have bullish for this shit? For bullish, we got 15 minute break. Got five minute break, and that's about it. And we could possibly have five minute fair value gap. So, yeah, I want to see it displaced past this fair value gap. Displaced on the one minute as well. And, yeah. If we do, I might take a short. GJ, what are we saying on GJ? We, was, we got a five minute sweep, that's good. That's not good, that means we're bearish. But now we're just holding. Okay. okay. So the most recent breaker structure was bearish. Yo, I'm taking this. I would rather trade Euro JPY, I think. Then trade whatever this sh shit show of GJ is. I'll check back in. If GJ break structure right here, possible entry on this inverse. 
on Euro JPY. I want to see it close below here. But if you don't, we've got another confluence. Go on bullish. We do have a one minute break, one minute fair value gap and stuff. So yeah, what do we have on this one? We've got a one hour break all the way up here. And then the price came down. Created a one minute, one hour fair value gap. Created this 15 minute draw, price comes down further. Taps into this, takes out this 15 minute draw, taps into the one minute, one hour fair value gap. Break structure on the five minute right here. Creates this inverse fair value gap. Price breaks structure the upside, taps into the inverse fair value gap. Break structure on the downside on the one minute. And now, well, we're holding this one bullish, so. We've got a one minute break. On fair value gap. Maybe I should be shorting right now. Stop loss, this high. Take profit, like this low or whatever. Yeah. Maybe that should be my trade right now. We're also holding another 15 minute fair value gap. This 15 minute fair value gap's looking pretty fucking bearish. This is yummy. I want to see the five minute get closed below. Then I might consider it. Bro, this is so. We got an inverse five. Maybe I take a playoff back. Okay. I'll close blow on the one minute. Try into. What I want to see within these next two candles being made. On the 15, I don't expect much. I just don't want it to close above here. On the 5 minute, I want to see it close below here. And then I'll be pretty pretty keen to enter. And also, what is this? This is a small time frame trend extension. Do we have any bar? Like, it's not really like a... Cool, you can say that's a liquidity suite. Who knows? Close below the I'm in. Food. GJ, what do I want? I don't even fucking know. I want to see it close below well here. And I might take a play off that. Shit, man. Okay, close below that line. I'm looking to sell. Euro JPY. If it closed below here, that's mean. Yeah, and that five minute looks like it's getting disrespected. <clears throat> Thank you.
while we're rallying now. First take profit. Be here. Second take profit. Here. Third take profit, like, fair value gap things down here. If we can get an entry, bro, what? Okay, so now we got a 15 minute break, bearish. So. So, these are all gone. This is bearish. Unfortunately, we weren't able to catch this. I might take a uh, entry on here if we can get it. But. Come on. Give me an alert if it comes up here. GJ. Yeah. We're rallying now. I want to see it come up into this inverse and the 5 minute fair value yeah. 15 minute we broke structure to the downside. And we just disrespected that 15 minute fair value gap. Yeah. Right there. Um, looking bearish. I'm going to get rid of this EQ because it's just fucking in the way. And... And... 15 minute draw would be our first take profit, but then we can target down here if you don't get that. But yeah, realistically, the best possible entry we could get, in my opinion, is if we can come into this inverse 5, mix with this normal 5 minute fair value gap. Bro. This is involving some fucking brain power to keep up. But yeah, if we come in here. Keen for a short. Um, we got a one minute break, one minute fair value. I could enter right here, but I don't really like the risk to reward. Realistically, I'd be looking to target here if it's been hit. Nah, it's already been hit. I'd be looking to target here and then the overall draw. Which, if we were risking around here, our stop loss was this high. Our take profit is here. It's not bad. But I would prefer if we could get it up here. Your JPY. Here we go. We got a 15 minute break. On here. Five minute. We got an inverse right there. We got a one minute and then there's five. Bro, who knows? Maybe I'll be entering both. How much am I gonna risk? I'm not gonna use nah, should I use my funded account? Not yet, not yet. I wanna risk it like here. If we can get a fill here. Keen. Hmm, I'm already rallying. I want to see a bit more of a retracement. Maybe I should have just entered on that one minute. But I'd rather get a better fill. Okay. On here, we'll be risking. Oh, should I just enter here? Nah, shitty R. Around 13, we'll just say 13 pips. So my position sizing would be... Fuck, should I use my funded? Nah, not yet, not yet. 
when you're consistently profitable, you get funded. 10k, stop loss, 13 pips, euro JPY. We need to use 1.14. And on GJ, we came up all the way from here. Stop losses, 14.2 pips. We'd use 1, 1.06. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm not entering here, fuck that. Fuck that. Ahem. <laughs> But yeah, man. Bro, no way it doesn't retrace. Maybe I should have entered here, but I mean, like, it's too far down. And I have to put my stop loss, like, I'd say my stop loss would be here. Still decent, ah. Uh, fuck, bro. If I miss it, then all good. But if I end in here. Like, come on now. Come on. I'll check back in if I get an entry. I Euro JPY hit TP1. I don't know if I'd enter on the retracement into the other Fever League. Um, if I've entered here, I would have won, but didn't really like the rest of the rewards, so it's all good. Would have preferred this Fever League up as well. Get rid of this alert. I'm not trading Euro JPY because it's hit his first take profit. Actually, I might, I might, I might. Oh, do I buy? I mean, do I sell? Could another five minute people yet that I could just enter on right now? I am really tempted to. I am really tempted. I'm super tempted. Stop loss there. 15 minute. What's it about to make? 15 minutes about to make a 15 minute fee value gap. We've already hit our first tech profit, so. Yeah. It also could go a bit higher. For this 15 minute. In the five minute. Just filled this five minute fair value gap. I want to see this fair value gap and this inverse get tapped into, and that's where I think the best entry could be, as well as this liquidity as well. But yeah, if I had entered here, I put my slot loss here. Is this the 15? Yeah, probs. See if that 15 gets filled by itself within these next three minutes. I'm not entering because my slot loss would have been. This other entry and this the other entry is way better, so Bro, should I be longing? Could I be creating a long bias right now? Not really. That most you get is a 15 minute sweep. But who knows? This could play either way. Like if we get the high time from EQ in here a bit. That's where it's like bouncing off. Sort of, yeah. <clears throat> Four cook wiki. Five minute break to the downside. There's not really anything that bullish. 
Except for the one minute but Or should I be entering off the bottom side rejection? 15 minute It's just barely a fucking Fair value gap now Honestly I just want to enter here on this inverse 5 plus normal 5 That's what I think the best entry is um, this place is a mess. Okay. What do we have bearish? We got previous one hour break. We're holding a 15 to fair value yet. We got small time frame EQ. We got 15 minute draw on liquidity taken. Like. Huh? Fucking tripping! Oh, that's Euro JPY, man. <sighs> we got f holding a fifteen minute fair value gap. We're getting near our entry now. I might have to get ready to press buy soon if we. Actually, I'll probably wait for a one minute break to get like super high confluence. We've got a fifteen minute fair value gap, and then This bullish one, we close below, we broke structure again on the 15 MB. We got a 5 minute break, and then we got a 5 minute fair value gap, and then we broke structure on the 15. Um, and then, yeah, and then my entry would be entry 5 to first inverse 5 fair value gap. With one MB, possibly fair value gap. Um, and then this, we just got to, the only thing against us is we got the one hour liquidity and two four hour fair value gaps that it held. Then it retraced into EQ, and now it's locally starting to look bearish. So I want to see these lows get taken out. But uh, it could gonna honestly go either way, bro. We got these fair value gaps that I might want to target. Just made a 15 minute candle, it made this 15 minute low, it closed that 15 minute fair value yet, which is good. And now, hopefully it goes high and gives me my entry. But the main factor, we just want to see that, we, we just want to see it hold this. And then continue lower to this draw and then this overall wall but yeah we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten against four ten divided by four what is that one um, ten divided by four four divided by ten 0.4 so wait or am i being retarded it's 4 divided by 10 0 0.4 times 100 minus 40 minus 100 yeah we got a 60% win rate hitting us if we can get a one minute break and then one minute familiar to be even even more mean this would have been i would have lost if i took this position but Come on. Oh, you fucking jerk. Bro, what? That's not even... It's up the gate. Don't even say that, bro. Um... Yeah, the breaker structures are bearish. The fair value gaps are bearish. The only thing that's not really bearish is the trend. The higher time frame trend, but... Right now we look. It looks like we're making lower low, lower high, low, lower low, lower high. Hopefully we get a lower low off, off this, not a lower high. But that's how. We, that's why we're gonna wait for the one minute. See if we get a break to structure the downside. <clears throat> and yeah, into with that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go up there, bro. Euro JPY possibly could get an entry, but it's already hit. Let's take profit. So, you'd, PP would be like here. 
Yeah, but yeah, I want to see what we get on the one minute. I want to see if we can get a one minute break. One minute. There we go. This is why you don't take that trade, bro, because you can get a better entry and you would have got stopped out. Well, who knows? Maybe I'm going to miss my entry. Oh, fuck up. Stop loss. I don't. GJ, sweet. We've gone in. We, we would have lost if we took that. We've tapped into our five minute and inverse five. Yeah, we've tapped into our five minute. Nice, nice, nice. So now we just need a one minute break and a one minute fair value gap. I could be in. Who knows? I might even do my stop loss at the most recent high so I can maximize my profits. Euro JPY, absolutely rallying. Damn. Yeah, thank God in the interest straight away. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to focus on that. We're just going to watch GJ. We'll see if we can get an entry. Get a good entry. Might even... Bro, should I trade my funded accounts? I reckon this could be a decent win. This could be a decent trade. If we get a one minute break, one minute fair value gap. I think I might take with my funded. We just got one minute against us. So if we can get one minute break, one minute fair value gap. Probably until with my funded. Oh shit, yeah, far. Let's get it, bro. The top quality setup. I need, nah, I'm not, nah, I'm not gonna trade my funded. That's bad discipline. I said I was only gonna trade my funded when I'm consistently profitable and I hit like my profit target that I, that needs to be like hit on just demo, so. Yeah, see how this plays out. I might enter like half a position if it close, uh, closes like outside of it. We don't get an entry just to like secure that we're inside of it. That we're in this trade. But who knows, this might not even be a winner. This, this genuinely could swap us out before it hits our takeoff, but we don't know. I don't know. Five minute, what are we saying? Please don't tell me we broke structure of the upside. No, nah, I think we're good. Um, give me a high so I can get a break of structure entry. But if you want to, if it closes below, I might have to enter. Come on. Come on. We are holding a one minute bullish show, but I said I would enter on this fair value gap. And the fact that we're shooting down and we just disrespected it. Did we disrespect it? Yo, I'm in half. Boom. Sweet. Don't fucking copyright me. It's my sister playing that music, man. We're in right there. Currently down $6. Mike, look for a re entry. If we get this fair value. Bro, we're holding a one minute bullish fair value gap. That's I. Right. If we lose, we lose. If I lose it, I know I lost because we have a higher time frame bias that kind of matches. It's just a smaller time frame that's playing more bearish, but yeah, there's a mixed bias. So if I lose, I deserve to lose. Might enter more in this one minute break. Yeah, I'm keen to add more. Add another zero point five. 
If we can get a fifth value gap entry, that'd be even better, but. Get another. Yeah, if we can get a fifth value gap entry, I'll add more. If I respect it as well, if it holds it. There's always a sigh of relief when you're up in profit, bro. Like, I might lose this trade, but there, there always is that sigh of relief, which isn't great for my psychology, but. Okay. This fair value gap. Come into here. I'm gonna add another position. If we can get more. Come on. <clears throat> Probably move my stop loss to here to minimize losses. Make it tight there. Yeah. Eight. Eight oh eight. Eight oh eight. Oh, wait, Um, 
I should be clear. Oh, bro, I could enter another position. I expect the nine. Nine o'clock liquidity to come in. I possibly could be liquidity right now if it does want to stop me out. But the hourly liquidity should be coming in. Coming in. If it really wants to pump it, then go ahead. But realistically, I could enter another position right now. Hopefully, because of spread, I don't get stopped out. But I am tempted to move my stop loss back up to like here, like a little bit higher. Just so I don't become liquidity, because... Bro, how do we get stopped out? Oh, fair enough. Who knows, bro? That was liquidity, that's so bad. Not that sick. If it goes up there, I'll be happy. I'll be happy I'm in the stop loss lower, but... Damn, bro. Should I take a partial pair? Bro, my intuition and subconscious thought was like, bro, maybe I'll stop myself breaking, it could be. Bro, fuck, bro, I was talking about y'all, bro. Bro, it's gonna be a high level, I'm actually interested to see what's gonna happen. Thank God I didn't take some of my funding, man. I didn't have top target from like, normal shit flash, but I take my funding. And now we're seeing some fake lit candles, a lot of liquidity might be dumped in. I don't know if it's gonna go up or down, but if it goes down, I'm gonna be quite devastated that I got that. That I could possibly be liquidity. But if it goes up, that's what it'll be. Ahem. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, this is why I need to put my stop loss in, because like, it was like here. I was stopped out, I was fucked out, shade spread. Uh, it's all good now, I couldn't minimize my losses. I think we lost how much we lose. We lost 50. We lost around, we lost 18 and 15 dollars, so we lost around like 33 dollars or something. Did you see that here? There we go. But, um, yeah, luckily I moved my stop losses. To there, I think this might be seeking out liquidity. If it doesn't though, then that's just unlucky. But if it does and it hits this, then I'll be happy that I moved my stop loss to break even. It's not. It's not. It's not there. It's not. It's not. Hey, it's got a little. It's got a little bit. It's got a little bit. Maybe that's all they need, and now they can drop it. But they're just unlucky as. <clears throat> Bro, go up a little bit more just to give me some satisfaction. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. Thankfully, we moved our stop loss to here. And we minimized our losses. Um, yeah, this trade was an L. Just, just maybe next time. Hmm, okay, what, what can I learn from this? Don't trade these multi-bias market conditions, bro. First things first. The 15, it was, this whole area was playing around, to be honest. All this shit, holding that 15, holding this 15, and then, like, the 5-minute, was saying, like, bearish, and this was bearish, but then this was bullish, and then, like, all of that shit, and, yeah, that just made you get stopped out. As well as, for a bullish bias, we had higher time frame, higher values, right? We had... Four hour holding the bullish, holding the bullish. Four hour break. One hour, it was bearish holding the bearish. So it's mixed. 15 and five were giving mixed. So maybe, maybe just maybe I shouldn't have traded um, a multi-bias day like this. Or, or I could just be in the and it's gonna go hit my targets now. But yeah, that's it from me today. Took a fucking L. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.